chosen, went and run up in my hemoglobin. A 80s baby grew up off Hulk Hogan and Bo Nolan. My YouTube channel just keep growing and keep growing. The plug hit me with the bomb because I ran the route and I got open. On the road of life, no potholes, I'm just coasting. I done put that bitch in cruise control. I might lose control. Yeah, though, man. Just trying to motivate y'all. This is just another motivation, no speech, for y'all to reach y'all peak by damn near next week. Now I'm off the chain around the corner and down the street, and they didn't call it the pound on me because I'm on my dog shit, my ball hog shit, my lamello ball shit. Past the fifth of Paul, man. I'm <laughs> Now I'm just trying to get y'all motivated for this gym. This is another day for you to take steps towards greatness. Baby steps. It ain't got to be huge steps. It ain't got to be leaps and bounds. But it's time to take a step. It's time to put one foot in front of the other. People think you got to... It, it don't happen overnight. See, YouTube got everybody thinking everything overnight. Quick fix. Nah. This ain't no microwave game. This that... This that, this that simmer and stew. This that put in the pot for seven hours. But I'm just making it. I'm condensing it down into these small little videos for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to motivate y'all to hit the gym. Just trying to motivate y'all to be the best version of y'all selves without the negative shit. Without the hood shit. You see what I'm saying? I already told y'all, being a black man in America is gangster enough. That's enough. Let's be my homeboys. They mugging niggas, mugging police, bumping into people, coming up to me. Man, that nigga over there. Man, look, it's a, bro, we black men. We gonna get into it, bro. Something's gonna happen. Don't bring it to yourself. Just chill. Just be ready for it. Like I told y'all, knowing how to move is important, but watching what you put in the atmosphere is just as important. It's times I done been at the club, been at the spot, seen the one nigga try to mug me and fight me. I ignored him. Then I look up an hour later, and he getting hit with bottles and getting beat up by five different people. He got what he was looking for. It's about what you put in the atmosphere. What I'm putting in the atmosphere is positivity, pushing y'all towards the gym, pushing y'all towards pushing them buttons on that phone to call your kid, pushing you towards the mail office to, to drop off that bill, pushing you towards the check cashing uh pushing you towards that money order that you got to fill out and write all that shit down and put it in the mail and get the stamp and just thrust yourself into what you got to do you know what i'm saying because when you grow up in the streets our brain and our thought process is corroded with a bunch of shit that don't mean nothing to us in that four block radius meanwhile the others is at big events with thousands of people with beach balls and ice creams and there's some miscellaneous country singer that we don't even know about playing in the park and everybody's having a blast while we in the hood receiving a blast while we in the hood trying to give out a blast shout out to mac blast but yeah man you know i'm just trying to all i'm trying to do my main goal i want to preach this fitness shit i'm gonna start doing tutorials look I'm coming to you like that hood nigga, like, hey, if you really want to get in shape, bro, I, I, we ain't got to do it the square way. We ain't got to do it the whole nerdy way. We can do this the, the, the real way and get them real results. I'm just trying to motivate the thugs. I'm just trying to give people something else to inspire to be, something else to get fired up about. It's some nigga in the hood right now that's down, that's depressed because he not with the shit. He depressed. That shit fucking with his head all throughout class. All throughout when he all he, he, he want to be tough so bad. He want to shoot something. He want to catch a body so bad. He want to be around the action so bad. Bro, listen. It's a, it's a, it's it's so much more to life. The gym will show you that. You mean to tell me I can show up to this gym, work out for thirty minutes, and turn myself into a specimen? Let me apply that to other shit in life. See, this, this fitness shit is the gateway. I, I look at it like the gateway. For me, it was the gateway of showing myself that it's something outside of all this street shit, outside of this hood mentality, outside of this dark cloud that can get me excited other than sports. You know what I'm saying? Other than porn. 
other than some stupid shit. Even other than religion. When you get in the, when you get in the church, you feel all good. You feel all warm inside. You're crying. It's times I done been in church, sleep the whole time. But you best believe when I wake up, I'm shaking everybody's hand at the past past the show did past the did this thing. They looking at me like, like they looking at me like you was asleep. I mean, I didn't woke up out my sleep at the end of church and held hand led the prayer on the way out. Lord, you know we, Lord just guide us, Lord. They looking at me like did wasn't he sleep? But it's in me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, though, man, I'm just trying to give y'all something else to do, man. We good at football. We good at basketball. We good at rapping. We good at pimping. We good at being pastors. We good at running our mouthpiece. We good at a lot of stuff we put our mind to. And I'm telling y'all, since our physiques develop quicker than the average person's physique, this is another uh, avenue for us to... The best bodybuilder of all time is Ronnie Coleman. Look up. I ain't going to say no name. Just look up Ronnie Coleman. He's the Michael Jordan of fitness. And go look at his skin. Just trying to get y'all brother something to get y'all carried away, man. 14, 15, if you in there working out, feeling good, man, you you getting the ladies, you you standing out, man. You don't care about nothing. That no, it's, it's giving y'all something. To, to hang y'all hat on, giving y'all something to really feed into. You see what I'm saying? When you're young, it's easy to feed into the streets. It's easy to feed into sports. It's, it's easy to feed into stuff that's not going to snowball into a good situation. Even when you know all about sports and shit, how, that, how that's helping you? Yeah, you know KD just got traded. You know LeBron just... But how that's helping you? By being able to go in the barbershop and talk a lot? I'm just trying to get y'all some motivation, man.